Okay, what's your full name? Gadsy here, Buckshot Prospector. I hope you're well and I hope life is treating you well. I'm on the creek today, but I'm only on the creek for a very short time. And the reason why I'm on the creek for a very short time is I'm just here to collect some river rocks. I've got an idea, a bit of an experiment to make something with some river rocks. So um, my main mission is to collect some rocks and then we'll head back uh, to my place to try out this little experiment. It, it's kind of not prospecting it's more making stuff and something a bit different to what i've been doing i'm hoping that some of you can recreate these and yeah it's just something nice to look at that's what i'm hoping for anyway so i know at this location there is heaps of river rocks and they're the kind of shape that i'm looking for flat sedimentary rocks these are sedimentary these are silica based silica based rocks are a lot more harder to cut but these, they're ideal. These kinds of rocks will change on their hardness. So um, the red of the rock have a tendency to be a lot more softer, whilst the grayer rocks have a tendency to be a little bit more harder. So what I'm really looking for is flat rocks with a bit of, maybe a bit of color or grain to them, um, and not huge ones, but we'll get a mix of different rocks so yeah so yeah that's the main mission we're gonna collect some rocks and then we're gonna take them back to my place and we're gonna do things to them if you're new to this channel uh hit a like and subscribe i do a bunch of various things mainly prospecting and skits and things like that but i also do a lot of creative things as well because i am an artist by trade so uh this is what i'm doing today it's a bit of arty farty stuff you know so let's get to collecting these rocks and yeah i've got my rock bag now i'll just start collecting some of these rocks i don't need that many but i'll, I'll get a few this one yeah that one's flat that's what i'm looking for it's got a bit of shape to it Now with these rocks, they can't be too thick either. They can only be a certain thickness because of what I'm going to do with them. So you'll see when I start doing it why I've only chosen particular thicknesses. I'm really spoiled for choice when it comes to various rocks here. Oh, that's a nice one. I like that one. It's got a bit of grain to it. Oh, we'll find more of these. When these get wet too, they get a bit more texture. Watch this. Look at that. The color changes heaps. Kind of looks like wood. Why wouldn't you pick up that rock? Oh, look at this cool rock. Look at that one. Isn't that an amazing rock? I'll definitely keep this and then put it in the bin. Oh, we've got another one of those blue rocks. Look at that. Wow. They are pretty rare, these rocks. Some people are incapable of picking up their rocks. Now, I probably won't use all of these rocks, but I can collect them for later projects. Um, yeah, if this works, then yeah, I'll be able to use them later on. Oh, look, someone that can't refill their holes. That must have been tough digging that hole. Can't fill it back in. Like most prospectors, I have quite an obsession with uh, collecting rocks. If you haven't noticed by now. I got told recently by a 
local prospect of that. He came to this creek and he found some syringes on this creek. So that's great. Not only are we dealing with people that can't clean up their tailings piles, but now we're dealing with junkies. They certainly aren't diabetics because diabetics don't use needles anymore. I know that for a fact because my dad and my brother are, are diabetics or well, my late father is. So they use pens. They don't use injections anymore. It's a Sunday today as well and I should be back at home replying to everyone's comments. But I had a spark for an idea and I thought, yeah, I'll just quickly go and do this and then I'll get back to replying to comments. So, rah. Anyway, enough of the creek, let's head back to my place. So we're back in my studio and my plan for these rocks is to actually try and cut some holes into these rocks. You'll see soon enough what I'm going to do with these. So what I have here is a diamond tip uh, hole cutter. So what it does is it drills out cores like this. So I'm going to get some of these rocks and drill some holes into them and then we'll do the next step. There's the first hole. As you can see, got a nice little core sample as well. Got another one, drill. Right, so we've got another hole punched and we've got a core sample. Now, I'm just going to wash these rocks because you've got to wash your rocks. These are all done now. So the next step that I need to do is make uh, cuts on the bottom of these because they're going to be freestanding. So, yeah, I have to make a cut across the bottom of that. A cut across the bottom of that. And I'm saying with that. And I do the cutting with my cutting saw. These are all dried off now. Now the next step. The next step I need to go and collect a couple of things. Right outside my garage we've got a whole bunch of moss here. So I'm just going to take some of that. Some interesting little bits here and there. At the moment mushrooms are growing. They're pretty prolific. And I'm hoping I'll come across some mushrooms. I did see some mushrooms here yesterday. Oh, there. A bit too, too big. Oh, there's a tiny little one. Need little, little mushrooms. So they can fit. There's another one. There's a tiny little one right there. And some different kind of moss. This moss might be better actually. Right, so I've collected some things. I need to get a couple more ingredients for this. One is granulated coffee. Right, so now I have a whole bunch of things that I collected. So I've got some little branches and leaves and some wattle, some moss, a few little other branches, some more branches there, and some little mushrooms. You might be starting to clue on what I'm actually doing now. What I am going to do is I am going to fill these little holes up with this magical stuff that I've only just come across, UV resin. This stuff is like resin, but it cures within minutes when you use a UV light. These lights are absolutely cool. I love them. You can see up there. It changes normal color and it makes it glow. They're also used to uh, grow things. What I first need to do is pour a thin layer of the resin into these holes. And the way that I do that is by using cello tape and backing these. So I have to look at each of these and see which one doesn't have as much uh, unevenness. So I'll probably do that side for this. Now, as I said, this is an experiment. I'm sure there's going to be some mistakes. 
but we'll try. So I just try and make a really crisp seal around the edge there. That's looking all right. These are all done. Now I first need to just do a thin layer into each one of these. So I'll get this resin in. Only put a thin amount in. So I might need a little bit more. And I try and move this around so it just gets onto all the edges. So that might need a little bit more actually. Same with this one. One this is magical stuff this uh, resin I've, I've semi worked with resins before but not so much with UV resin this is a game changer this stuff so now we just use the UV lamp and I have to do these individually so I'll do that and then come back to it I've just put these to the side. Now the next step, I've got some granulated coffee. I'm going to pour it into this. Probably don't need that much. About that. I'm going to put the resin in with the granulated coffee and mix it around. Now I'll probably add a bit more resin. What this is going to be, it's going to be some dirt. And what I need to do is get some of this resin dirt. Kind of just get it down. Got some um, tweezers here, and I'm just going to push like that so that's going to be the base of me putting some of the um, moss in hopefully this works it should right now I'll get that mushroom Get the resin and pour it all over this. Just so it coats it. Just give it a second. What this will do is it will seal it all in. Hopefully it doesn't bleed out of it. Right, so that's one. We'll just cure that. I'll set this aside and let that cure. Whilst that's curing, I'll do the next one. So I'll do this one now. Same thing with the coffee into the base Just spread it around a bit just so this has got something to work and attach the the moss to I'll leave this one really simple I won't put any mushroom in it I'll just have the moss just got to make sure that all these little hairy things are inside the circle. Same thing, resin poured over. I'll 
just have to watch. I would actually push this down a little bit into the resin a bit more. So it submerges a bit more. that under the lamp that shouldn't have kept on bleeding I don't know why it's done that what I might do with these stones is actually uh, coat them in some of the resin anyway so it'll bring out the grain now we can have a look at the other ones now we've got this one I'll take the backing off hopefully we don't have an issue that's looking all right. Try and do the same for this one. They've got bubbles in them, so I can't really do much about that. It seems as though some of the tape stuck to this. That's weird. Look at that. I don't know why it's done that, but we've got like an air bubble in it. I like that. That's a happy little accident. I don't know how I did that, but I kind of like that. That kind of turned out all right, but the bleeding has kind of stuffed them a little bit. But we can get around that, don't worry. What I'll do is I will get the resin and paint these rocks with the resin. So then all those marks around those holes will just disappear. I'm just going to put some of the UV resin on the back of this. Now I'm going to use a brush and I've got some gloves on so I don't get this stuff all over my hands. And I'll just coat this rock in the resin and magically all those stains around the hole have disappeared. See how the marks around the edge just disappear? That's how you do it. Plus it makes your rocks all shiny. This one should look good because, um, yeah, it had some really cool textures in the stone, especially when it gets wet. So that's actually um, worked in my favour, actually. No, oh, no. That's all right. I only need to lightly coat this. Right, so these are taking way longer to set than normal. I had the UV lamps on them and they're just taking their sweet time. So I'm just leaving them out in the sunlight and hopefully they'll cure in a few hours. So they took about a day or two just to fully dry out, but um, they're fully dry now, so let's have a look at some fancy shots and see how they turned out. So yeah, they sort of turned out all right. There's a few things that I need to refine to make it look a bit more uh, well finished. And yeah, um, it was more of an experiment than anything just to see what I could do and what I can't do with it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.